Hi, everybody. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot, Capricorn. I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much for hanging in there. You finally get your February reading. Now, before my throat chakra decides to puke out for the day, I'm going to try to get this one up because I still have to go to work at my bread and butter job for nine hours, which unfortunately involves a whole lot of talking. So, let's get this done. Okay. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the guys. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your, your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome. And I wholeheartedly appreciate it when everybody stops by. Say hi in the comments. That's appreciated too. If you like what you see, hit the like button. I'm not going to twist your arm. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you really like what you see and you want to see more, you know where the subscribe button and the notification bell are. Go ahead and hit them. It's all good. Again, I'm not twisting anybody's arm. Okay. Before I invoke the cards and invite Source to come hang out, a couple of quick reminders. If it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away, Capricorn. No big deal. If it's not yours, don't belong to you, don't take it with you. It's that simple. That's how fights get started. Two, never make any life-altering decisions based on a tarot reading. It's just never a good idea. I read tarot, and I would never in a million years do that. So, okay. It's your free will, again, to do whatever you choose to do with the message, if you choose to do anything at all, Capricorn. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn. Send me right in Venus for the month of February 2021. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit, for hanging out today. Let's bring Capricorn to their highest possible good and onto their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirits. Capricorn, why are you here? Princess of Source. Lines of communication opening up. Talking to somebody. Thinking about talking to somebody. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Three of Pentacles. The potential's there. Potential for a solid foundation with this person, quite possibly. Hmm. There's three people in the card, though. Threes bother me. Just saying. It, it's like a red flag. But. Don't freak out yet. Yeah, it's only really two cards in here. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Prince of Cups. Mm. They make that heartbeat a little bit faster, don't they? They make your heart race. Oh, the Prince of Cups. I mean, he's an okay enough guy or gal. You know, the sex of the card isn't important. It's, it's, it's the message behind it. Okay enough guy. What's in the cup? How long is the cup going to hang out? Again. What do you want of, for, or from them? The chariot. Forward movement. <laughs> we'll clarify in a minute. How do they feel about you, King of Swords? Hmm. That's a card. You notice how his arms are crossed?
Very guarded individual. Possibly they see you as a guarded individual or feel like you're guarded or they feel like they needed to be guarded against something. They're, they're protecting their heart. They're logical. What are they thinking? Three of Wands. Oof. They're in a state of waiting. And it's the second three. three threes bother me. What do they want of, for, or from you? So there's two threes. It's not always the liar cheater card. Not always. It can also mean planning. And to me, when I see this card, he's only got five swords in his hand. There's two swords left behind somewhere. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Huh. This is why we get clarity. Nobody panic. What's the obstacle here? Two of Pentacles. Change. The transition between the one Pentacle, which I've yet to see, and the three. It's getting through the tough part. The question is, why are we getting through the tough part? What's the tough part? We'll find out in a second. Possible resolution. Prince of Swords. He's a prince, he's a prince, he's an nth information gatherer. Oh, he's the master conversationalist. He finds things out. It might be time for a conversation, Capricorn. Hmm. Might be time for a conversation. Hmm. 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 We'll save this dude for the end. Let's get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? February 2021. Clarity in the cards in the table for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirit. Two more. Two more shuffles. One more shuffle. I think we'll have it. Why do you shuffle if you just let him fly? Because that's how I roll. I gotta put the energy into it so they know what they gotta do because they'll come out whichever way they're supposed to come out. It's order in the disorder. Do you have something to say? No? Maybe? No? Hi, Priestess. It's the way it came out. It's hi. I want to talk. Hi, Priestess. Hmm. 
polarities, dark against the light. It's a connection. It's soulmate connection. It's intuition. It's that 5D stuff. Mm -hmm. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Someone in this connection is using their intuition and knowing that something is not on the up and up. Lovers reversed. The possibility for foundation is there, but there's still some choppy waters to cross. Possibly, the connection has yet to be acknowledged. Hmm. Why the lovers reversed? One. Just one. Just one. Hi. Page of Pentacles. There's that pentacle. Either you're ready to give the pentacle or you're ready to receive the pentacle. But there's the pentacle right there. There may be some question as to whether they're ready to take it. Why is the Prince of Cups here? Emperor, Seven of Cups. Gosh, the Seven of Cups has been popping up right there all day. What's in the cup? The Emperor, he's large, he's in charge, he's a good provider. Probably a could be a parent. I don't know. Looks ahead towards the future. But what's in the cup? You're questioning what's in the cup. The potential's there. You see them as someone you might have a future with, but you don't know what's in that cup. Probably because they're guarding. Why is the chariot here? Knight of Pentacles reversed. So you feel like you want to, but you're not sure if you should. You don't know if the Pentacle is going to be accepted. One more. Queen of Swords, you want the truth.
You want the truth. The chariot can also speak about distance. Possibly you want them to distance themselves from something. Probably whatever they're guarded against. Sometimes we guard ourselves because we've been hurt before. I don't know. I don't know. Why is the King of Swords here? Ace of Wands. You're acting like you want to talk. Two Swords reversed. I was afraid of that. That's an impossible decision. They feel the spark. They do. They feel that spark. But they're guarded and it's a difficult decision to let go. They could be afraid of getting hurt. Why is the Three of Wands here? Two of Pentacles. There's the Two of Pentacles again. One more. Okay, I'll take two. Maybe it takes two to tell a story. Two of Wands, Nine of Wands. It's timing. They're waiting. They think you're waiting. They think you're waiting. You're waiting for that cue to cross those waters. You're waiting for the cue. You're waiting for them to let go and move forward. Huh. Something has to be let go of to get this chariot moving. You know, sometimes that little princess of swords, page of swords, knave of swords, whatever. Sometimes every once in a while it, it tells us stuff that we don't want to know or we don't want to hear. Sometimes. And that just popped into my head, by the way. Sorry I didn't mention it before. I had to get the other cards out. Waiting for that bat signal. Waiting for it to be time. And maybe they think you're waiting. Okay, okay. Don't beat the dead horse anymore. Why is the Seven of Swords here? For what the other person wants of for or from Capricorn? Magician. Want to manifest new things. One more. Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's still an old seed out there somewhere that got left behind. The two swords that got left behind the difficult decision to leave something behind. Something got left hanging out there.
Is it the question of what's in the cup? Who had something left hanging out there? Because you don't know what's in the cup and they're heavily guarded against something. One more on this Seven of Swords, please. How long are they going to stay? Hmm. Wow, two severely wounded people here. Very skittish energy. Very skittish energy. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for the obstacle? Five of Cups. Five of Swords reversed. Somebody's having a hard time transitioning across that rushing river because they're still very sad and very afraid and things are still scattered, emotions are still scattered, thoughts are still scattered, do I, don't I, what's going to happen, what's in the cup. Can I trust this person? How long are they going to hang out? I want to, but I don't want to. The potential's there, but is it really? Uh, all right, I'm not beating this dead horse anymore. Why is the Prince of Swords here for the possible resolution? Thank you, courage, strength. Sometimes it takes a lot of strength to sit down and have an honest conversation about feelings and stuff. Uncomfortable stuff. One more. Ten Pentacles. Sometimes you gotta talk about hopes and dreams and what you want out of the connection. Do you both want the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool in the back and the nice cars out front and the evenings on the back porch sipping lemonade watching the grandbabies play in the backyard catching fireflies? Is that what you both want? Sometimes you have to have the conversation. Especially you want to get serious. Especially when somebody's skittish. Somebody's been hurt before. Somebody's had to make difficult decisions. It's the outcome. Four swords. Sometimes, Capricorn, you just gotta rest your mind. Leave old seeds that never grew in the ground. Stop questioning why they didn't grow. What's in the cup? You don't know what's in the cup until you take it and look in it. 
that simple. It really is that simple. You don't know what's in the cup until you take the cup. And if you decide it's something you don't want, you give the cup back. Why is four swords here? Just. Ten of swords, reverse six of swords in the upright. You don't end the painful cycle until you lay something to rest and you hop in that boat and you cross those waters you don't want to cross to the other side of the river. Sometimes you got to let go of your fears and get in the freaking boat if you want the sun to shine again. Just saying. I mean, that's what the cards are just saying. That's how I'm reading the cards. That's how I'm interpreting this. Let's grab some advice for you. Oh my gosh! Ten of swords in the upright, two of wands in the upright. You don't end the pain until you let it go and move on. Leaving that alone. Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Swords. If you don't exercise patience, you're going to be right back where you were again. Eight of Cups reversed, Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles reversed, Four of Swords. You have to exercise patience. You have to lay things to rest. And you're going to end up right back where you were again. Okay, Capricorn, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by. Be blessed, and I'll catch you next time.